What's up, everyone? So who saw that the key bridge got hit by a container ship? And it was crashed. When planes hit the two towers, even though it was an inside job, allegedly, that was an act of war. The deep state has detonated a toxic cloud that they didn't need to over Ohio, allowed Chinese spy balloons over Minnesota, uh, across the nation to Minnesota and all that bullshit, um, before it got shot down. P.S. Chinese are buying up all of our farmland. They, look, do you really think, do you really think that that was an accident what happened at the Key Bridge, or do you think the Deep State realizes that everyone is waking up? I hate to say it like that, but the people who probably voted for Biden are now going to vote for Trump. No one voted for Biden last time. That's why everyone is mad at you guys. You are like the 2% of the people who throw temper tantrums and make everyone else have to leave or change. Fuck you. It seems like Tiffany was either being blackmailed because she has some crazy bullshit that she's done in her life that I don't want to know about because it's probably crazy as weird as shit. Which is why she was reaching out to me. Or this dumb bitch was really trying to get some, you know, juice out of my niece. If that's the case, she's going to go to jail too. Oh yeah, I, I meant to go, Jamaica got the bobsled team? Because P. Diddy, you ain't going to hide out in Caribbean very long. Trust me. If any of you super hot bitches want to show up, you can, be, you can be my soulmate too. If Tiffany wants to show up, she can still be my soulmate. If she can explain all this bullshit and return everything, not just to me, to all of her victims. Or probably P. Diddy's victims. If that bitch has been in some kind of a weird, satanic sex circle, I want nothing to do with her. Look. When I found out the weird shit they were doing in those circles, that's when I started doing my own brand of outreach to people who I think are just misguided, however you want to view that. If some of them want to throw me some booty in the process, I'm all for that. Because I consider myself to be single. As long as I think you're hot and it's um, n not coerced in any way, I don't really give a shit. But basically, you can ask Asha how this goes. You come over. If I feel like it, I plow you. The whole time I'm probably studying. Then, once a hotter bitch comes along, I give you the stern talking to you that you've been w waiting for and then I send you out into the world. And it's like that because the, that's that's how the bitches want it. I'm pretty sure... Look, look, this is a funny thing. I will also say this. I won't say your name. I'm pretty sure I know what that was about. I'm pretty sure that there's this one really hot Asian bitch that I know. And she's pretty cute. She's not K-pop cute, but she's pretty cute with no makeup, right? I'm pretty sure she heard that, or, or at the very beginning, I was like, hey, let me show you how to make all this money in crypto. And she was like, oh, he's just trying to hit on me. Okay, I'll play along. I think he's kind of cute too, but he is, he's, he's like number 57 in, in my book. Then she was like, I want to cut my nails. I want to paint my toes. <laughs> All right, that's cool. I don't give a shit. Then Bitcoin went up. And then this bitch was like, I'm gonna look at my computer all the time. Hey, yeah. And then nothing. And then she overheard about me having enough to fill the Magnum. And now she's like, we should hang out sometime. Look, I don't give a shit. I was so used to that bullshit. What I, what I want to point out is that is exactly what I mean when I say you can't really teach bitches how to trade crypto. If if it's their if, if it's up if, if it's their idea, you can. Like what I was saying, like you can't force bitches to be in tech, but if it's their idea, they'll they'll do great at it. I could have made you like the hundred thousand dollars I made in January, you could have also made that. I made a hundred thousand dollars off of five thousand dollars. I guarantee you you have at least close to five thousand dollars that you can pull out of your savings. If you would have just been 
a little bit less cunty, you could have $100,000 right now. Not even me. I was going to have you copy my trades while you make me a sandwich or whatever the fuck. You can copy my trades. You're going to make a free $100,000. I didn't want anything out of it. That's how crypto works. People don't believe me when I say that. When I say shit like I'm going to buy a submarine and go beyond Antarctica, I mean that. Is she saying that? No, I mean that. I, uh, Tiffany, the, the the rap whore who was trying to steal, not just steal from, it seems like she was trying to help P. Diddy steal my niece. I don't think she deserves to be a soulmate. She might deserve to be, I mean, well, you, I wouldn't mind visiting my soulmate in prison. Let's say that. Giving her some, some canned goods so she won't have to get, you know, passed around for some soap or shit like that. No, like, all this shit start, look. I was going to sneeze. <coughs> Probably Tippy's handler. My crazy douche that I met. Um, after Night for Freedom. Somehow involved with P. Diddy and all this other weird shit. That party you all invited me to that I didn't go to. Two days afterwards, Tiffany probably went to and got blackmailed into doing some crazy weird shit. And she probably knows, look, I'm pretty kinky. I know how to get my rocks off. Mainly because I used to film a bunch of porn. I was like the filmer of the porn in Charlottesville. Make some money originally. And believe it or not, those bitches want to as little as possible interact with the other stars and then they were just like me and them would be fooling around a lot of times i would kind of just like prefer the ones that would do solo scenes or girl on girl and shit like that and then that just kind of like how it all started off i was making pretty good money rent renting out my bedroom to let them do scenes and shit like that what are i going with that I don't remember. Look, consensual shit is one thing. Oh yeah, look, I, I, I can be pretty kinky. I've, 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 I've out freaked pr plenty of freaks. Whatever the fuck Tiffany had to do to get her shitty music videos, Magnet Moon, and whatever the fuck she did, other than steal from my niece and try to steal my niece. Uh, to almost be in a Rick Ross video, I guarantee you it was creepy as fuck. This bitch was hitting me up nonstop, like, like, sloshed drunk, like, just taking pills and all kinds of wine. Like, she was taking, like, wine like it was an IV. This bitch has got to have had some kind of weird train ran on her in some candlelit satanic circle at one of these douchey rapper loser houses that is now being seized by the feds because they tried to steal from my niece. I consider myself a free agent. Even when Tiffany st started bothering me, I was like, fuck, now I gotta play this song and dance to fi find out what this bullshit is. You couldn't just come home with me in 2018. And you wanna know why I didn't ask you out in 2018 or any of that bullshit? I was, I went from, I want to marry this bitch to, ah, eh, fuck her, she's just some stupid whore. Because I saw you talking to Will Chamberlain. Like that. As soon as I saw you talking to Will Chamberlain, I said, fuck that stupid whore. And her short hair and her big dorky glasses. I don't need to know what you were talking about. That guy is such a gigantic piece of shit that if you were talking to him about anything, you're disqualified. Anyways, P. Diddy... To make it got the bobsled team. They got the Wanderis and the Yule Brother Sanka. Oh, come on, Deris. Cool runnings. Feel the rhythm. Feel the rhyme. Yeah, come on, P. Diddy. It's bobsled time. <laughs>